You're listening to Business Over Wine. Hi guys, we are back. Yes. You are back. This is a, and in a new costume. Yeah, it's in the spirit of Halloween. We, it's all about being scared. Woo! Drinking blood. <laughs> <laughs> we are having way too much fun, but yes. we will be talking about fear. We are going to be talking about fear. Your greatest fears in starting a business. Yes. Yes. It's what's 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 inside you. What uh, what is holding you back, and uh, all the fears uh, when you are a newbie. Yes. Because we just went through that, like we we, did. we are still newbies, uh, so we went through that, and we kind of we can those feelings are still like lingering. Well, once you take, I think the once you take the plunge, you know everything is scary. I mean, yeah. you're 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 not making any money, and if you have rent on a building or something, or you're paying off software or yeah. or computers or it's any terrifying. equipment, it's yeah. terrifying. Yeah, because you don't know how where your rent money is coming from, or how you're going to pay your investors back, or yeah. whatever it may be. Yeah, um, and it's very scary. You start to doubt yourself for sure. Yeah, you start so, to think, "Oh my God, am well, I going to be able to do this?" Yeah, exactly. So yeah. it's it's good to if you are in a in a time of your life that you are really really scared to put the trigger. My advice is to get a part time job. Uh, you know. Burger King, McDonald's, cleaning, walking dogs, whatever will get you through the time, get you that income until you are comfortable going full time. Right. Um, and getting a network, get, in getting community around you because um, you will find out really quickly that other people are scared too. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And, and so for me, my biggest fear in business didn't come till I actually got a building, like I actually got a place that I was renting. Yeah. Um, you know, I initially began as a stay-at-home mom. Yeah. And then I picked up like one or two clients, and you know, um, I've always run my business as a hobby job, and and told myself I don't, you know, my children are first, my family's yeah. first. I don't need to to make an income. Yeah. But then when I had rent to pay every single month it got scary yeah it got really scary because it was like oh my gosh i have to pay rent next month how am i going to do that i gotta hustle i gotta get a new job i gotta get and so for me it it was very very scary when i signed the lease and then it motivated me to get those regular clients that came in and then i had you know people on retainer and it didn't wasn't so scary anymore when you're struggling with fear uh, you have to remember it's it's just a feeling Um, it's not real no like we really a lot of people will um, put a lot of uh, weight to the fear and that will hold hold up your action and uh, the best thing to grow yourself is to fail right because you will learn I think the other fear that you have starting a business is is you know like the failure to to perform so whether it be product or it be service yeah failure to provide uh, or perform the necessary you know whatever it may be that you're providing yeah um you know i think people are i think people are really afraid of not not performing or not producing yeah in that and what will happen what was to happen okay if you're not a brain surgeon or right, like or right. a doctor or a police officer or firefighter that there's someone's life on the line with your actions what was going to happen you're going to be fine your necklace will fall apart you'll make a new one yeah and what? we used to say when i worked for for the chamber of commerce there's no such thing as a chamber of commerce emergency yeah. uh, we used to remind ourselves of that and so i i usually tell myself that there's no such thing as a claire roy bond associates emergency yeah. You know, this is going to be something that my clients can survive one more day w- without, you know, yeah. granted I am in charge of their social media and in charge. And so in some cases it's very time sensitive, like if yeah. they're going to be closed tomorrow and I don't post that, you know, so some yeah. things can't wait. Yeah. But for 90% of the stuff that I do, if it doesn't get done today, yeah. it will be forgiven. So you here. definitely do have to go through that fear. I think having that fear motivates you so yes. I do think it's really a healthy thing if you get into business and you're not scared something's wrong yeah. in my opinion because yeah. you have to have that that fear that drives you to be a better person to really yeah. promote your business and motivate you yeah and that comes in different ways I mean that comes when 
you you know maybe you launch your product line maybe you rent a building maybe your competition pops up you know whatever it motivates that fear in you to be like oh my god i need to step up my game or i need to get this done yeah you know that's that's healthy the fear uh, made civilization yeah right I mean, fear of we were scared not humans living, yeah humans not surviving. yeah humans were scared and that made civilization so just think about how powerful that feeling is and instead of making it as a negative and make it empowering i actually know a lady here in town she doesn't want to use social media because she's scared that someone will bully her, bully her. and i told her I'm like the worst one that can happen is someone will make a comment um then you will ignore it and delete it yeah yeah right yeah that's the and the, delete your post yeah unfriend that person block that person and moving on yes and you're gonna get negativity in your business regardless i mean whether it be from somebody you know that says you're gonna fail or this isn't gonna work, yeah. or a total stranger that's not happy with your services, you're yeah. gonna get that. So, um, you know, accepting that sooner is going to help you definitely yeah. be a better business person. We had, <laughs> gosh, you can't be serious. <laughs> oh my God, you're creepy. I know. Oh. <sighs> You really look good. You look really I good. I know. It looks, it looks, I'm going to, I'm going to stay here because this is my pretty side. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, when I first, you know, when I started business, it was comfortable. It was comfortable. It was comfortable. And then I hit like this plateau period and, and I knew either I've got to step up my game or I can stay where I'm at and be comfortable until it fails. Yeah. And so that was big, a big fear moment for me because I was like, okay, I need to drop a few clients. Yeah. But if I wanted to hit that next level that I knew I could achieve, I had to create this, this new, it's almost like, yeah. almost like a mini rebranding, you know, it's yeah. this new vision for my business. So it was your grow, growing pain. Right. It and it was very pain. scary because now I'm starting to I want to start to climb the ladder of success yeah I want to be known as the premier in my industry in this area and so you know it's what scary. do you do yeah it's, it's scary. very scary it's because scary. when you t every time you take the next level you will experience growing pains and it's like little boy or little girl when they grow their shins hurts right that's how it feels it feels like growing pain the moment I had a couple thousand dollar sales and I was sitting with a client and she was choosing her portraits and I was counting in my head doing math I got moment of the panic that I reached the level I was chasing for so long yeah and it was really really scary I went home and my stomach hurt was hurting I was really shake shake up I instead of being like excited, she just wrote me a check and yeah for a couple thousand oh, dollars and I'm like okay this is someone's mortgage you know it's it's all you know all the feelings we will talk about money at some point you know yes. uh, but it does all negative feelings instead of excitement and I realized it's fear it's fear of, of that growing pain um, right you start to doubt yourself you start to think am I really over am I overcharging these people yeah. or oh my god what if she calls me back and changes her mind and yeah. says I'm not worth it but it's you will catch yourself in like hyperventilating yeah you totally will you totally and will then, right, get the wine get a good girlfriend who can understand your pain it's Halloween happy That's Halloween everyone <laughs> I hope you guys liked our goofy episode this one this one didn't turn out as, as yeah, we are, well, well organized. Yeah, but. we are thinking about wine. I'm thinking about candy. I can't. <gasps> yes. yes, please do subscribe to our channel. Let us know what you guys would like to see us. And I'm going to go take all this tool off and have some more wine. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.